Welcome to Gray Overload. I'm Anthony, and AMD has got Rock'em 6 out. So now that you know, there's more AI stuff in there, and this was all announced at their advancing AI event, which well, you know, kind of expected that AMD is going to get it out quite soon because they are competing with NVIDIA on this. And for me, this is a uh, big thing just looking at it is that they're competing with NVIDIA and they're behind on two fronts, right? They're behind on the CUDA side because CUDA is ingrained basically everywhere and a lot of people are losing it so, or using it. So there's a lot of work there to, you know, you know, make end roads in in that area and then the other side is that nvidia has had their ai hardware out for a lot longer than amd has and so here amd is trying to make you know you know jumps and leaps and bounds which i do appreciate it and it's open source so you can kind of see what this is and you don't have to worry about the closed box stuff so with amd kind of getting this you know done you know they've improved some support with fp8 performance you know they've added some more stuff in there they've um, added some more gpus and some consumer side stuff so the 7900 xtx uh, the radeon 7 i think is also there and so there is added stuff here that they've added to Rockham 6, you know, support for devices that I think are going to help them out because sometimes there are people that like to play games and then, you know, they also do development, you know, either on the side or, you know, for fun. And this allows people then to just, you know, be on the same machine and start tinkering without having to go and have a pro or an instinct or anything else a GPU. And I think that that is good support that AMD is finally putting out there so that, people can just go and start, you know, using the hardware they have without having to go and get specific hardware, right? NVIDIA has this already, right? Their consumer side stuff, they have some CUDA on there, they have, you have access to that at some level, um, <laughs> but there is a, a, you know, advantage for that because then you're, you're just going, okay, I can use this hardware and I don't have to go buy new hardware. You know, sometimes that uh, buying additional hardware is a step to get over. So I do, uh, I like seeing this and I like seeing their support here. Now, now, you know, some of the weird stuff that I did see when I was looking at the page was, you know, they didn't have support for Red Hat 9 um, quite yet, but they did have support there for MI300 um, in a couple other OSs, what is it, Ubuntu and uh, SUSE. So, you know, at least they've got some OSs out there. I do like to enjoy seeing that they have uh, multiple OS support because, you know, certain people like certain flavors and, you know, maybe they're used to one, whatever. I like seeing that support out there as well. So there's a lot, you know, going on right now in the whole AI market and the AI development. I think this is one big thing for AMD to take a look at and see is, you know, we're getting Rock'em out there. We're, you know, behind it. We're giving you releases out there and you can go and start using this and then, um, you know, use it on our hardware. I, you know, this is one thing that too, since it is open source, you could kind of get this to work on any hardware you wanted. I, I Intel has been saying that they want to be more open source, you know, hardware because was it, Intel CEO was it, or somebody talk about how you know CUDA is so closed off. Um, people are saying that they like to see something more open. You know, Rockham seems to be gaining more leverage and you know, in the making or making more headways. Maybe Intel joins on with this and kind of puts their effort in. Because, you know, th these are the things where, you know, maybe if Intel and AMD, you know, joined together a little bit and picked their battles, they might be able to go, uh, you know, off and make even a better ecosystem of software uh, uh, in the open source side and also be like, you know what, this is, you know, a benefit for, um, uh, you know, the users in general and it works on both our hardware and AMD's. Maybe even, you know, at some point if they were to take enough market share, does it actually, and be more performant for the CUDA, does NVIDIA also say, well, we can jump on that and have a consortium in this open source arena. But, you know, I, I'm a big fan of the open source side of technology. I think that there's ways that you can make it work. Um, and by, you know, by selling your hardware side stuff, support, et cetera. So I think there's ways to make it work and to actually bring benefit to the consumers throughout the entire process. So, 
you know, I do hope that this, you know, continues to grow and AMD continues to put more effort into it because I think eventually it's going to pay off, right? They have this MI300. You, you can expect that there's going to be another AI chip here um, that they've been developing, right, to be able to do this, right? They have AI engines in their 40 or 7040 um, CPUs and now their 7080 CPUs on the client side and on mobile. So it's, you know, I think it's a matter of time before that also hits desktop as they should. So you're, you're starting to see this buildup of AI. And if you have these Rockham tools that are working on GPUs, the CPU size for some whatever CPU operations they need, and these NPUs, these AI, you know, engines, I think you're going to see a big benefit here if, you know, you can get the Rockham, you know, even if Intel is able to, you know, spin it up and start using it as well. I think there will be a lot of benefit for users out there. I want to get into this and start using it and developers that want to do that I think will have a payoff there and I think AMD will then see that payoff in their hardware and people using it so that's a little bit of you know I want to give an update I'm, you know I'm doing some videos so while I'm you know traveling and you know visiting family for Christmas you guys have this something to listen to so I don't know which you know order my videos are going to go out in but you know this is one of those things that I like to see I like to see that development there and AMD get this you know technology out there and see you know iterative improvements and you know open source side so that there is you know competition in the marketplace well Nvidia CUDA you know it does great stuff right it, people like to use it the Nvidia's got good hardware. If there's no competition, you know, Nvidia can run away with the market, and I like to see that competition in there because I, <laughs> I don't want a monopoly in a runaway market. I think that that is not good for developers and consumers um, in the long run. So with that, let me know what your thoughts are on the Rockham Six stuff, um, and if you have any specific, you know, support that you that you enjoy seeing in it. You know, there's a lot. They added support for some stuff, and you know, more AI stuff as well. So with that, I do appreciate all of you guys supporting Gray Overload and helping this channel grow. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for hitting that bell icon, uh, sharing the videos, like, subscribing. It really does help on the channel. And until next time, God bless.